robertgenxcomputers.com today we're going to be looking at a gateway M series model M16 34U and a problem with this particular laptop I'm going to show you here I'm going to press the power button and as you can see it powers on just fine with the light but just a blank screen nothing else here it's just blank screen I've tried everything in a book from pulling a battery and just leaving the power cord on and holding the power button down for a few seconds and um, replacing um, memory and everything you could think of to try to troubleshoot to figure out what's wrong with this particular laptop and I've even tried pulling the memory sticks and seeing if um, memory is bad and it doesn't even make a sound and you would think it, was, it would be a bad motherboard but um, and there's a lot of people saying bad video, bad board, uh, from what I've read online. But um, I'm going to try uh, CPU and because I think it might be a bad CPU. It could be a motherboard, but this particular laptop was six months old when it did it. So um, I just think it, it might be a bad processor. So um, I have a spare one laying around here. And it would this particular processor is uh, F1 X2 so I'm gonna go ahead and um, I'm gonna replace it so set this down and it's pretty simple to get to it's not real hard just a few screws so I'm trying to do this here this one right here and when I took, I actually did take this off already. And there was no thermal paste on this particular um, processor. And I knew right then and there that, hey, we had a problem. So I went ahead and put the processor on there with some thermal paste. Accidentally, so I'm gonna go ahead and take the CPU. So it's pretty simple, just turn it. Sorry, it's a little difficult doing this with one hand and trying to record. Then just lift right up and put the other one on and just line the notch right here. Just set it right down in there. Get the thermal paste. And this is Zom and thermal paste. And it spreads spreads very thin, very thin thermal paste. So it looks like a lot, but it's not. It is very thin thermal paste. I cannot stress that that this is very thin thermal paste so it's not big huge globs it's very thin and spread evenly across so I don't have to spread it across I don't have to rely on the heat sink spreading it evenly so now I'm going to go ahead and put it back on Let's screw it back together. So that's one. And it's actually marked one, two, three, four, where they want you to screw it back. And if my theory is correct, this laptop, which was six months old at the time, but is now probably two three years old because they just let it sit in a closet instead of shipping it back to the manufacturer after the initial problem instead of getting it to me right away they had problems and getting it to me 
but now they finally did a few years later and let's see if I'm correct okay so I got the new processor on I have the thermal paste on also so I'm gonna go ahead and turn and lock it down Put the heat sink on, thermal paste is already on, and like, again, like I stressed before, that is very thin thermal paste, so it spreads nice and even. It's not gooped on, it's not globbed on, it's very thin, very, very thin thermal paste. Does your job for you. So, I'm gonna go ahead and start with number one, and I'm gonna go across corner with number two, then I'm gonna go directly across with number three into four then I'm going to proceed to the heat sink and then right over here to the heat sink and screw that in now if my theory is correct it was a bad processor here's the old one which actually had no thermal paste on but I wanted to make sure that the processor was bad so I did put some apply some thermal paste to it and tried it out and it still didn't power on but I'm thinking it just went completely bad so here's the similar processor probably just a little slower and um, I'm gonna attempt to power it on see if it works now so hopefully this helps someone out if this actually works if I'm correct let's see see if I'm correct let's fix the issue let's hope it does voila fixes the issue so there you have it if you have an M a gateway M series M1634 U series in uh, particular um, this helped me out and I mean the motherboard made absolutely no beep sounds no sound whatsoever and as you can see it had Vista on it so that tells you how long it sat in the closet um, before they actually got it to me but it was brand new not even six months old when it died and it was the actual processor you would have you would have thought it was the um, the way it was acting that it was actually a bad board or something but it was actually the processor so you know goes to show it's not always what you might think it's some might be and goes to show that processors do go bad so um, hopefully this helps you out and um, please subscribe if you like the video uh, please hit like um, or dislike and consider um, subscribing there will be more to come it's Robert Genetics Computers thanks for watching